we're going to go to getbootstrap.com slash CSS slash buttons. Each button color is associated to a different class. For example, class equals btn btn dash success corresponds to the green button. Go ahead and open up your terminal and we're going to run our local server. Next, open up Chrome. On the project's home page, right click on the biggest button that says primary. Click inspect element and on the right panel, we can change the CSS of this button. Every browser renders CSS differently. The lines crossing out some CSS means that's not being rendered by Chrome. On this right panel where it says dot btn dash primary, click on a color square. Change the background color for this class. Now we're just going to make the primary bootstrap button a slightly darker color. Any changes we make to this panel are immediately reflected on the site and become a good way to test out new styles. On the right, inspect element panel, copy dot btn dash primary. In the main inspect element panel, when I scroll over HTML, the gray area corresponds to that element's layout. Go ahead and refresh Chrome. The button has gone back to its original color. To make this color change permanent, we have to open main.css. We're going to delete our header 1 with color red and paste in the brand new CSS. Next, save main.css. We're going to open up Chrome and refresh the page. Now, even when the page is refreshed, the primary button color change is still there. Inspect element can be used to customize the CSS of elements other than buttons. From the nav bar, right click on bootstrap theme, hit inspect element. And from the right panel, scroll to dot nav bar dash inverse. Change the color and copy dot nav bar dash inverse. Next, refresh Chrome. The color of Bootstrap theme changes back to its default. So we're going to open main.css, and then we're going to paste in the new CSS. Go ahead and save main.css, and then refresh Chrome. Now Bootstrap stays the color we chose for it. We can also change the navbar color. So Go to the URL, getbootstrap.com slash components slash navbar. The documentation shows a white navbar with the class navbar dash default. Now go back to our site's homepage. Right click on the black navbar. Hit inspect element. On the middle panel, I can see the navbar has a class of navbar dash inverse. We want to make the navbar have a class of default. So double click on the middle panel and delete the word inverse. Type instead navbar dash default. Press enter. The navbar is now white. Refresh the page. The navbar goes back to black with a class of navbar dash inverse. To make this navbar class change permanent, Open templates slash base dot html. We're going to delete inverse and then type default in its place. This will be found on line 42. Go ahead and save base dot html. Refresh Chrome. Great. The navbar stays white. For now, I'll leave my navbar as is. Now we know how to use inspect element in Chrome to customize Bootstrap. In the next video, we're going to update some templates.